Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And make sure to click like, share, subscribe, and all those buttons so that we can share the good news in the world together. So this week, I want to talk about specifically how Jesus redefines our faith. How Jesus takes what we believe and calls us to grow up, to mature in our faith. You see, there are all these stories and instances in the New Testament that are almost caricature stories with Jesus interacting with the Pharisees or the Sadducees or other groups of people in which it just seems like we want to shake our heads at them and go, can't you see what he's trying to say? Um, mature, grow up, you know, do, do better than you are. And then when we look at our own world, we see that we're doing the exact same sorts of behaviors. For example, when I was in uh, my first appointment, one of the questions that came to me from an adult who was coming to the faith for the very, very first time, she, she simply asked, um, when I get to heaven, am I going to be judged? Will, will I be allowed to go in heaven? Because I've got tattoos. See, somewhere along the line, someone had told her that if you get tattoos, you have, di you have disgraced the temple of God and, and you are no longer allowed into the kingdom of heaven, which, which is a very hard kind of view of the world, a black and white view of the world, a narrow view of, of, of judgmental view of the world. And, and my answer to her was, well, I hope not because your pastor's got tattoos. Uh, I, I do. Uh, so one of the things about this is, is that we oftentimes look on the outside for holiness rather than looking on the inside for what makes us different, what makes us a people of faith. Jesus had this interaction with the Pharisees when he and his disciples were walking, and the Gospel of Mark has them walking through a field, and, and they, the Gospel of Mark goes to into great detail to talk about the fact that you know the Jews had many customs for washing of hands and washing of pots and washing, washing, washing to make sure they were clean and kosher. Kosher is the phrase there for clean and unclean. Kosher meaning able to worship God, able to present yourself different and holy and other before God. And the, the, the disciples are eating all these grains, and, and they're eating it with unwashed, unclean, unkosher hands. And Jesus makes this statement. He, he says, you know, it is not what goes into you that makes you unclean, but what comes out of you that makes you unclean. And he points to anger and, and adultery and, and bad thoughts and horrible words and phrases that we use. You know, it's from within our hearts that we're stained, not from outside. When we apply this to a lot of the things that, that, that we get judged by, whether you wear a hat or not inside of a church, whether, whether or not you're dressed in the attire that the culture that you're worshiping in thinks is normal, whether that be a suit and tie for men, or, or whether it be something altogether more casual, with shorts and flip-flops on the beach, you know, there, there's judgment that takes place, and that's the key here, is that when we are immature in our faith, we tend to want to have easy, quick answers. It's almost the path that Jesus told us about, the broad path in Matthew's Gospel, where he says, avoid the broad path of easy answers. Instead, take the narrow path. The narrow path demands us to have hard questions. The narrow path calls us to grow up. You know, the tattoos and memories that we have aren't what's going to keep us from getting into heaven. It's what we've done to our brother and our sister in the name of God. It's how we have treated each other. Jesus calls us to redefine our faith and to look at what's on the inside for holiness rather than what's on the outside. I challenge you to do that today with your own life. It's much better and harder to look inside our own hearts than it is to try to appear in others. Ask yourself, what ways have you acted kind of immature, judgmental, and not offered people the grace that you so desire when you approach the heavenly gates? Pastor Nathan Decker challenging you to be better together.